Hey Libras, welcome back to my channel. So what's the vibes, Libra? We're going to get into it and see what spirit has for you at this time. Thank you guys for joining me. Thank you guys for all the likes, comments, subscribe, shares, views, everything that you guys do to support the channel. I really appreciate you guys. So we're going to get into it and see what's going on with my Libras at this time. If you have Libra anywhere in your chart, then you belong here. This is general, so take what resonates, leave what does not on this table. I send you guys love and light. I hope you guys are doing well. So music raises your vibration. I posted that on the community tab. So what is the overall energy here for my Libras at this time? Thank you, Spirit. We have bros before hoes, clean up your space, and that was in the reverse and abusive, right? So I feel like you guys are cleaning up your space. If you were dealing with any friends that was like trying to tell you, you know, you shouldn't be with somebody, bros before hoes or however that works, chicks before dicks. It's like you guys have cleaned up your space from these people, right? These people could have been emotionally abusive. There was some type of abuse going on, child abuse. Somebody could have went to jail, some molestation, some mental, physical, and financial abuse. That's the overall energy here. So again, remember, use your intuition and discernment. Take what, re take what resonates and leave what does not. Somebody could have a really big ego because that's what's playing right now. You could be in college. You could be in a band. What are the messages here for my Libras at this time in regards to this overall energy? We have the world. So like I said, you guys are ending it, right? With these friends that's talking crazy. Maybe they don't want you to be happy in a relationship. We got Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, and Scorpio, right? You could have also ended it, definitely ended it. The death card on the bottom of the deck <clears throat> with a Scorpio or a Leo, Aquarius, or a Taurus. Right, whether you ended the friendship or you guys ended a relationship with any of those signs, you could have seen something, you could have gotten some knowledge, right? You could have realized this person is karmic or these friends are karmic to you, and you trying to level up, right? What are the messages here for my leaders at this time? We have the sun, the nine of swords, and the nine of cups, and the ten of wands. So there's definitely a Pisces that sees you as wish fulfillment. You could have walked away from this person, but they feel like, you know, you're their happiness, right? You bring them happiness. You lit. You successful. You're high vibrational. And now they're trapped in their head, right? Not knowing what to do. I'm hearing which way did she go, right? So this person could be trying to figure out where you are at this time. This Gemini, masculine, this Leo sun, this Sagittarius, Jupiter, or this Pisces, right? They feel like you are a blessing, right? You have good fortune. You guys are focused on your abundance at this time. Walking away from obstacles and stress, right? You guys are happy, right? You want, you're loving on yourself, right? Cleaning up your space was in reverse. Like you guys are doing the work. You're cleaning up your space your home space, as well as your energy. And someone is definitely trapped in their head. No action being taken, right? You guys are healing. This person could also see you as the star. They could really love your lips. That was coming out in the live. What are the messages here for my Libras at this time? We have five of pentacles and four of wands. And then we have the Queen of Swords, big Libra energy. So you guys definitely ended it. Now you have somebody that's trapped in their head, right? Feeling left out in the cold from this relationship with you. This could have been a, an abusive relationship for some of you. And now you left this person out in the cold. They feel left out by you, right? The Libra ended it. And you guys saw something or something. And you was like, look, I'm out of here. You could have been in an abusive relationship with an Aries feminine. There's definitely a Taurus that's feeling blocked. You could have blocked the earth sign. Or you could have just blocked this person in general. Messages here for my Libras. We have the Magician. 
So this is giving me manipulator, right? It's coming out underneath abusive, right? You're now having your boundaries set against this person, right? This person could have been very hypersexual, right? This person could have always been angry. You always had to defend yourself against this person. It was always a fight, right? Always drama. And now this person is feeling left out in the cold and feeling lack, right? You got tired of the shenanigans, you move forward. For some of you, if you left a friend out in the cold, they're like, what? Bros before hoes, whatever, right? But that's the that's the current energy, the five of pentacles energy, right? They feel conflicted. They feel lost. They miss you, right? Whether this was a relationship or a friendship, they're missing you at this time. It could have been a lover you were with, right? That was always with their friends or putting you last, right? And now they're like missing you. You could have also blocked this person. So let's get into it and see what's going on. Let's clarify. So we have hostilities in reverse. So I feel like you guys released this hostile person, this abusive person, this manipulator, right? You guys could have also manifested a new beginning for yourself as well. You guys could have spoke your truth and ended it. You cleaned up your space, right? Clarify the world. Clarify the world. Door to romance. So this was definitely a relationship that you guys ended. You could have been, you could be 33. This person could be 33. You could have a life path number 33, right? Mind, body, and soul, union with yourself, ending it, right? Ending the soulmate contract, right? Yin and yang is in the reverse. Talk that talk, right? So you guys are like, talk that talk, or you guys are like speaking your truth, right? Talking that talk, right? You like, look, I can't do this. Clarify the queen of swords. Angel of strength, definitely. You are definitely protected as well. Big Libra energy, right? Things are changing for you at this time. The divine is protecting you, protecting whatever passion you have, whatever creative ideas that you have. Uh, the divine could also be protecting you from a Leo, right? This person could feel defeated. And they ready to come talk that talk or they love when you talk that talk. Maybe you are very uh, emotionally supportive to this person. You're very intellectual, right? This person is mentally stimulated by you, right? How smart you are, how good looking you are. Clarify this five of pentacles. We have the thinking woman in reverse. So this is someone that definitely didn't use their intuition. Maybe they listened to their friends, right? Bros before hoes and their friends got them left out in their cold, Right? This this feminine or masculine, they didn't use their intuition and now they're broken hearted. Can't make it up. Clarify the four wands. Angel of balance, big Libra energy. So you guys have balanced out this energy with this relationship, with this abusive person, this Aries feminine, right? You guys are... Using your throat chakra at this time. You're speaking up for yourself. You don't want to be in this relationship. It's, a, it's emotionally abusive, mentally abusive, financially abusive. They're abusing your finances. And sometimes it could probably get physical, right? This person is always upset, right? Maybe threatening you uh, with jail or child support. Or they could be like abusing the children in a sense, right? Clarify this magician. Blossom in abundance in reverse. So this manipulative person is not abundant at this time, right? They in the five of pentacles. They're in lack as well as feeling left out. This person is not following spirit. This person is broken hearted, right? The door to spirit is closed at this time. Maybe because of the abuse that they inflicted on you guys, right? Y'all know the divine ain't having that shit. Now they're broken hearted and wanting to take action. 
after this ending, right? And their their money is fucked up, right? That could be part of their karma. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Y'all know how that's my favorite saying. This person could have also gotten pulled over. Didn't I say jail? This person could have ended up going to jail. Or on their way. They could have got a speeding ticket. Maybe they had a warrant. Clarify the door to romance. Doing better without his ass, praying for better days. So you definitely ended it with this masculine or feminine, right? You're doing much better without them. And now they're praying for better days. They want to be with you. They, they can have a tattoo on their hand, right? They wanting to come back towards you. They listen to their friends and now they left out in the cold. They listen to somebody, their family members. They listen to somebody. And now they're praying for better days because you're doing better without them. Look, and they in love with you. Homie in love, dog. They like, damn, dog. Look, damn, dog. Clarify the angel of strength. He's not what you think, sis. So for some of you, this person... Right, bros before hoes. They was over here talking about all these bros before hoes, but that ain't even really how they are. They really are in love. They're really loving, right? Romantic, right? This person was putting on a front and a facade for their friends, right? But now it's like, like I said, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Now they're ready to take the mask off and show you who they are or show you who she is. They're trying to have the strength to do this, right? To remove their mask after, you know, they could have played a game with you because of their friends, right? Masculine or feminine. Clarify the thinking woman. Unpaid bills, car problems, and somebody using kids as manipulation. So this person that's in lack is going through all of these problems right now for playing a game with you, right? Their bills aren't paid. They have car problems. And if they have children with someone, this person is using the kids against them at this time. So this person is really feeling left out in the cold. Right? They don't have you. And now they're dealing with all these other issues at the same time. I ain't even going to say it again. I wanted to say it again, but y'all already know probably gonna be the title of this video look but some of them they also got fired and lost a job so they just going through mad karma at this time maybe for being emotionally abusive right maybe from stealing time and energy and love from you right playing games right now they're in a toxic relationship and all of this shit is happening clarify the angel of balance clarify the angel of balance undying love so you guys are like this is not an undying love right it fell on top of all of these issues here right so you guys have balanced things out in this relationship this this marriage or this long-term commitment right or there's there's no love there right 48 you could be 48 you could be born in 1984 uh 48 is a 12 which is a three right so this union you're balancing things out <clears throat> this person was abusive, right? So you don't love this person. You're moving forward. You could have already moved forward and now this person could be trying to get back into your life in some type of way. Look, acting fake after this breakup. So use your intuition and discernment because this person will definitely be wanting to come towards you, but they're acting fake. And I did do a video like that the other day. Or this person was wearing a mask and now they're tired of wearing a mask. So maybe they could have broke up with someone else that they were in a relationship with that was abusive in any of those categories, right? Clarify blossom in abundance. Needing help. So this person, they don't have money. They need help. They also going through some type of mental thing. They could be depressed at this time. 
about their finances. And you guys are just over here minding your business, taking care of yourself as you should. And this person is looking back at photos, right? Pulling out the old memories of you guys. Maybe when you guys were happy, when you guys were celebrating with each other, right? And now they're wanting to uh, reconcile with you, make amends with you at this time, right? For some of them, they just want to get back with you. They want to get back with their ex. For some, they went back to an ex, but now they're looking over towards you, right? But you guys, you guys already know what time it is, right? You guys said, look, I'm a high priestess. I see everything, bitch. All seeing eye. Y'all know what time it is. And this person, this person, whoever they're dealing with, they friends or they bros, whatever, lying to this person about you. And maybe now this person is actually realizing this, using their intuition, and now they're wanting to come back towards you because they realize their friends lied. Either it's a friend or it's a lover that they had. Take it as it resonates. So let's get you guys some advice and then I'm going to end the video. So what is the advice here for my Libras in regards to this situation, Spirit? What is the advice here for my Libras in regards to this situation? What is the advice here for my Libras? Gathering around the power of community. So spirit is saying gather with your community, right? Even if it's just your spiritual team or whatever community that you indulge in that brings you joy, right? Light, light workers, like-minded beings, right? Um, this person was a dust devil or these friends are dust devils and you guys are moving out of stagnation at this time. Maybe they was trying to keep you stuck. They didn't want you to move forward. What is their advice here for my Libras in regards to this situation? Or this person that they have kids with didn't want them to move forward? What is their advice here? We have woodwives, adaptability. So Spirit is wanting you guys to get grounded, right? Maybe with this person, they need to get grounded, right? Maybe they need to just adapt to this change that it's over, right? A 64. This person could be 64. You could be 64. You could be 46. But that's definitely an ending for a new beginning. So this person needs to adapt to the fact that, you know, it's over. They were abusive. And you guys are no longer going to be with them. But also, for some of you guys, you guys just need to get grounded after this abuse that you may have endured from this person, whether it was emotional, mental, physical, verbal, financial, right? Get grounded, adapt to this change, go within, work with spirit, go outside, plant your feet in the ground, ground your energies, take it one day at a time, spirit is saying. Advice here for my Libras in regards to this situation. Advice for my Libras. We have Horseman, Herald of Change. So you guys definitely need to look forward, right? Go after your passions creatively with ambition, right? Move forward, right? <clears throat> Move away from this fire sign as well. A tidy house. <clears throat> Clarity and organization. When you keep your space clean, Energy flows, right? Clean your spaces in the reverse. So you guys are tidying up your house, right? You're getting clarity. You're organizing things, right? A clear house, a clean house also allows for you guys to have a clear mind, right? When you look around and you see clutter, it's like the same thing as your mind, right? Give me one more for advice for my Libras. So we have galactic mushroom, the divine matrix. So some of you guys may take mushrooms, right? Connect with spirit, I feel like. Whether you take mushrooms or not, some people take them for a spiritual experience, right? But uh, also jeweled web connectivity. So definitely connect to your community that makes you feel good, right? This change, right? 
do some networking. Maybe some of you make jewelry. So throw yourself into your craft, right? Ambitious, moving forward, passion, creativity. Throw yourself into a creative project or something that's going to make you feel grounded, something that brings you closer to spirit. Because this person is receiving their karma most definitely for this abuse, for those of you that resonate with that. For those of, of you that listen to your friends or your homegirls, your uh, homeboys in regards to your relationships, and it ended up leaving you out in the cold. Maybe you should not do that, right? And Spirit is just saying, take a bold step forward, right? Everything is always working out for you. Thank you guys for joining me, and I'll see you in the next one.